looks like maybe we have kind of a lack of foreign buyers, maybe more buying from the Fed. In addition, looking forward, we have a lot more stimulus coming, you know, 900 billion, the 1.9 in the winds, they're already talking about a 3 trillion. And based off of uh, the Biden administration and the new Green New Deal, whatever, like, I mean, we could be, who knows, just five, six, 10 trillion. Do you think that has anything to play into those, those yields on the treasuries as well? Um, one, the, the increase of stimulus and two, maybe is there a lack of buyers and the Fed has to start kind of controlling that a little? You know, it, it, there, there are always these couple things that are blamed when treasury, go, treasury rates go higher. One is that the treasury is issuing a lot. So there's just a ton of extra supply. So right. where's the, you know, the incremental buyer? And the other is that, oh, there's going to be fiscal stimulus that's going to create aggregate demand in the economy that's going to trigger inflation. And then, you know, interest rates go up as a natural kind of uh, result from inflationary environment. Um, but I challenge, I always challenge these things because now we have this, um, this additional uh, buyer of the Fed, which you mentioned. So it's a little bit nuanced, but really what you have to think about, there are 30 trillion treasuries existing, right? The Fed now owns seven plus approximately of them. So call it a quarter of the market. If things go badly in the world, the actual amount of treasuries available for the public to buy that the Fed doesn't own, that's not also tucked away, it's only a few trillion. And so you have, you know, a hundred plus trillion of assets that are trying to jam into only a couple trillion of treasuries. And that's what makes this price go up and the yields go down when, when shit hits the fan, right? When things go badly in the economy, it's the flight to safety. When we're in this, um, we're, we're in the opposite environment right now where there's no flight to safety. There's actually, um, you're leaving the safety to go invest in other, way, in other ways. Then there, you know, there's maybe this worry, like where's the buyer? The foreign you know, demand has gone down and we can see that maybe in the statistics a little bit. The domestic buyer or the investment managers themselves, they're not lining up to buy because you know, things are going well and they want to put that money to work elsewhere and get some credit spread on top of what treasuries yield. But then when rates go up and things actually start to go bad in the economy, it's a, it's a reflexivity sort of situation where the higher rates actually cause things to break and that causes people to go into the safety the Fed then also then threatens to buy more treasuries and actually remove the supply of risk-free assets to the rest of the world. Right. And so there's always this Fed being an infinite buyer in the back of people's minds. And it makes them the marginal supply available to the market in crisis incredibly small.